Hi. Hi. I, I thought I'd read this uh, Muslim uh, article on uh, disbelief. Yeah. Okay. It's called Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu uh, Alaikum. Uh, uh, okay, anyway. It goes like this. All right, this is from the Quran. Truth has now arrived, and falsehood perished. For falsehood is, by its nature, bound to perish. Yeah, I hope that's true. That's from Quran 1781. Why does Allah seal the hearts? Okay, this is uh, Surah 2, verse 6 and 7. As for the unbelievers, it is the same whether or not you forewarn them. And it was it's pointless to talk to unbelievers if you're a Muslim. They will not have faith. God has set a seal upon their hearts and ears. Their sight is dimmed. And grievous punishment awaits them. Firstly, the context of the verse should be made clear. They were revealed at the time when the prophet I can say Pubba, uh had just delivered the message of Islam to the people and the new, mes new Muslims were facing persecution and violence along with uh, there were a lot of uh, practical converse, converse, conversions from people who aimed to decide Islam from within before it started spreading. These people were referred to as hypocrites. There is a hadith uh, for this issue quote, Quote, when a, when a sin is committed for the first time, a black point, that is, a black stain occurs in the heart. If a person repents and asks forgiveness from Allah, the heart shines again. What, I, uh, I, the person does not, re oh, I think means if. If the person does not repent and he repeats the sin, the stain becomes larger. In time, it becomes so large that it covers all the heart, like a cover. It is what is mentioned in the following verse in chapter al mah Quote, by no means but on their hearts is the stain of the which they do uh, it is the stain mentioned in the verse uh, another verses go but they preferred blindness over guidance another one is those are they who have purchased misguidance at the price of guidance torment at the price of forgiveness in other words, we want to be tormented. We don't uh, want to believe that the earth is spread out on the back of a giant fish. We want to be tormented because we would rather believe that uh, embryos are never blood clots. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quote, those are the... Yeah, I read that one. Uh, then whenever wills... Then, then who, who, whosoever wills, let him believe. And whosoever wills, let him disbelieve. I thought it was all of that willed on and off the right track, uh, off the right path is all of it. What's this? Whoever, what? I thought it was all of that willed on and off the right path. A little contradiction there, it seems to me. Okay, this is because of the evil, which your hands had sent before you. Another one is, uh, evil indeed is that which their own selves had sent forward. Okay, let's have to find another one. Oh, here's one. Allah hath set a seal upon their hearts because of their disbelief. Huh. So if you disbelieve, Allah makes it so you can never believe. I guess what it comes down to it. Uh, the earth will always look round to you. Apparently, if you disbelieve, the earth will always look round to you. Uh, it will never look like it's on the back of a giant fish to you. And... If Allah's put a seal on your heart, you'll never believe that the sun needs to ask or, uh, or seek permission to rise again. If you uh, disbelieve, Allah will put a seal on your heart to the point where embryos will always look like balls of dividing cells and never leeches or uh, clots of congealed blood. And you'll never believe that an embryo is a clot of congealed blood for 40 days, like Muhammad said. That's what I get there. Okay, I'll continue here. Yeah, that is because they believed, then disbelieved. Oh, they believed and then disbelieved. 
Therefore their hearts are sealed. So they understand not. Understand what? That an embryo really is a blood clot for 40 days, like Muhammad says, that uh, an embryo is a leech, you know, and yeah, for 40 days, like Muhammad says, oh, well, of course, he doesn't call it a leech, he calls it a, a, a clot of congealed blood. Okay. And we shall turn their hearts and their eyes away from guidance, as they refuse to believe therein for the first time. For the first time? Hmm. So once you quit believing in it says for the first time huh so once you quit believing that the sun is needing to ask or seek permission to rise again you're screwed is that it after it sets on a muddy spring yeah. okay and we yeah, should, yeah really I'm gonna read that again here and when they turned away Allah had turned their hearts away yeah in their heart is a disease, and all it has increased their disease. I'm familiar with that. That's Quran 10 uh, to 2.10. No, 2.11. Yeah, 2.10. In their hearts is a disease, and all it has increased their disease. Well, to me, if that's true, you know what that disease is? It's believing that when the Quran says it confirms the before scriptures, the Bible, you don't believe it. Uh, to me, that disease is when you uh, see a meteorite hitting the atmosphere. You don't believe it's a star in the lowest heaven, Earth's atmosphere, shooting at Satan. That's what that disease is to me. When the sun sets, you believe it's the Earth rotating, and it's not the sun going down on a muddy spring. And then we're, we'll prostrate under the throne of Allah before asking or seeking permission to rise again. <coughs> and... Uh, that apparently is the disease. But if you don't have the disease, you'll believe that the sun is really not ro that the earth really isn't rotating. If you don't have that disease, you'll believe that the earth really is on the back of a giant fish called nun. That's what I'm getting here. Because if you don't believe it, then you're not going to believe in Islam, and that's the disease, apparently. The disease is to see what you see, and it's actually a lie. It's a, an illusion that the earth really is on the back of a giant fish. That, that a solar eclipse really does occur when the earth falls out of its chariot. And when the Quran says in Quran 36, 40 through 42, about the boats similar to Noah, you better believe that the sun and moon are traveling in boats similar to their offspring Noah. Because the disease is to believe that they aren't in a boat similar to the offspring Noah. Okay, I'll continue here. Nay, but on their hearts is the covering of sin, which they used to which they used to earn. Huh. Really? Nay, but on their hearts is the covering of sins which they used to earn. They don't earn them anymore? Huh? Okay. However, the word uh, the, the word veil mentioned in this verse is the veil that you still can see through it, it, see through. it is a temporary and can be removed. It is temporary and can be removed. You would say, what does that matter? But Arabic is a rich language with several words for the one equivalent uh, word in English. So the choice of word is key and is for a specific reason that is emphasized by the number of other verses that prove the same, prove that some of the disbelievers did believe in Allah and his messenger and hence became Muslims such as the saints Quote, so, uh, say to those who have disbelieved, who have disbelieved, if they cease from their disbelief, their past will be forgiven. What's this? I don't get it. I don't get it. So they did disbelieve, and now they do believe. But up here it says, uh, once you disbelieve, all it puts up, it says, but they prefer, uh, I thought, that, wait a minute. I'm going to go back here. I thought it said this. When whoever... Then, then whosoever wills, let him disbelieve. And whosoever wills, let him disbelieve. Another one said, um, I thought it said this. Uh, well, it sounded like to me that once you disbelieve, you can't believe again. That's what it sounded like to me. What? Sounds like you can believe again here. 
that once you because so I, th I thought it was when you disbelieve, Allah puts a a thing on you that I thought it was up here. I have to read that again. Okay, I'm not for sure, but they prefer blindness over agreements. Yeah, then whomever wills, let him believe, and whoever wills, and whosoever wills, let him disbelieve. Okay. And uh, this is because of the evil which they had. I can't remember. Oh, so, so. Ah. Yeah, Allah has set a seal upon their hearts because of this, their disbelief. Well, how do you get that seal taken off your heart? Oh, here's another one. That is because they believed, then disbelieved. Therefore, their hearts are sealed, so they understand not. And we shall turn their hearts and their eyes away uh, from guidance. And they refuse to believe we're the best of them. Yeah. So when they turned away from Allah, Allah turned their hearts away. Uh, in their hearts is a disease. And Allah has increased their disease. Okay. Hmm. Well, I thought for me, when I was reading those, it sounds like I read something where if you disbelieve, you, you can't believe because Allah puts a, a seal on you or something like that. Okay. Well, anyway. But to me, the disease is apparently uh, not being able to see the, the giant fish the earth is spread out on. But 